for the last month. So if you are visiting here as a digital nomad or a remote worker and you need to get some work done, let me give you a little bit of tips on what it's been like to work here. So first of all, you need to know what kind of adapter plug you need. Mexico is in North America, so they use the North American standard, which looks like this. Um, so this is the plug that you're going to need. It's the same one that we use in the United States, again, North America, and actually quite a bit of like Northern Latin America uses this style plug. So this is what you're going to need. Um, if you don't already have a universal um, adapter pack, I definitely recommend getting one. I actually have two of them so that no matter what country I go to, I have the adapter that I need before I get there. Now, as far as Wi-Fi speeds go, they've been pretty good. I ran a speed test here at my co-working space, which is a cubic idea, and the download speed was 84 and the upload speed was 84, so pretty good. And that's what we've experienced the whole time we've been here. There are plenty of other co-working spaces in the area. This is a really large city, so you have no um, limit really on options of where you wanna get your work done. You could obviously do it at your Airbnb or your hotel or wherever you're staying. Again, I'm working in the Cubic Idea co-working space over off Kalima Street. They have multiple locations. They also have a gym. So if you're interested in getting a two for one, that might be something you're, you wanna do. Um, I'm actually just up here working on the rooftop. So I had to have different choices between a room and an outdoor space. Um, I've also worked from a lot of different cafes too. So I was pleasantly surprised by the amount of uh, like, just like the cafe culture that they have here in Mexico City. There's a coffee shop on almost every corner. Um, different sizes, different styles. Some are really conducive to working, some not so much, but you just have to find the ones that work for you and the area that you are living in. So a couple that I visited I really liked was um, Curado Cafe, and that is more kind of uh, west of where I am in Roma Norte, but they actually had a whole section in the back, like a huge table, like four people who were remote working at the cafe, and then they're kind of separate from the people who are just there for lunch. So that was really nice, and they had like a huge power strip right in the middle of the table, so like made for people there to go work. Um, another one I really loved was Blend Station. They have multiple spots here in Mexico City. I visited the one in Condesa and I just, I had one of the most like productive work sessions I've had in a really long time. So that was another really nice place to visit. But if you wanna know more about different co-working spaces or cafes, feel free to get my free um, digital nomad city guide down in the link below. I make these for all the destinations that I go to and I give them away all for free. So be sure to grab that down below. So yeah, if you are coming to Mexico City to do some work, you're not gonna have any issues. You're not gonna have any lack of things to do or places to work from. The Wi-Fi has been stable, it has been fast, and it's definitely a city that embraces or um, accepts people who are working on their laptops and working remotely. So you're not gonna have, run into any issues along that way as well. But yeah, if you come, I highly recommend it. It is a great city for digital nomads. destination usually the first two things you look at are flights and housing accommodation so if you're coming to Mexico City the area that you're probably gonna want to stay in is either Condesa, Roma Norte, maybe even Juarez and then I've met some people recently who stayed out closer to the airport um, there's also Coyacan neighborhood I haven't stayed there but I've heard it's really really great but for the most part I would say people generally stay in the Roma Condesa area that seems to be the most 
a common, and it's really convenient to get to lots of different other areas. You can see behind me, I'm sitting in a park, but there are so many beautiful, just like squares and green parks and green spaces that you can walk through um, and visit while you're in Mexico City, especially in these two areas, Condesa Roma Norte, which is where I'm staying. Um, now, as far as like prices in the city go, Mexico City is not the cheapest. Um, I think it also still very much depends on the neighborhoods that you're in, what restaurants you choose to visit. If you're visiting, you know, the top Michelin star restaurants, obviously gonna be way more expensive than if you're doing like street tacos every day. Um, but on average, I would say it's similar to Playa, some of the more touristy destinations as far as cost goes here. Um, but it's still a really great city. It's definitely worth visiting. There's so much to do and it's really easy to walk around. You can see there's lots of cars behind me. That's a really popular method of transportation. There's also Ubers and taxis if you um, don't have a car while you're here. There are buses and a metro um, and then walking. I mean, really, I walk as much as I possibly can. I am not opposed to walking like 45 minutes to a park or something. Uh, so that's some traffic it happens <laughs> there's actually quite a bit of traffic in Mexico City um, sometimes walking is faster than actually getting in an uber or something so sometimes check that the other day I was going somewhere and it was 18 minute uber and a 20 minute walk so I just chose to walk but um, that just depends on the time of day and <laughs> where you're actually headed um, but yeah I mean overall I think Mexico City has been really really enjoyable I felt really safe here um, you just need to practice just normal safety precautions that you would in any large city. We have had a couple of people in our group whose wallets were stolen, either directly out of their purse or one girl had it sitting on the table next to her and someone just walked by and swiped it. So you just need to be really careful with your things and where, you know, keeping track of your belongings. But outside of that, we haven't really had any issues. Um, and again, if we ever felt unsafe or it was late at night, we just jumped in an Uber. The Ubers are really affordable here, so it's not a big deal to do that while you're here. But yeah, that's just a little bit about the city. I really enjoyed it. I love the cafe culture here. I love the parks. I love being able to walk around. I love all the history and culture. Um, and it's just a very lively city, um, which has been really, really enjoyable to be in. Best way to eat more like a local and it's nice to your wallet.